I was just talking to a friend of mine yesterday. Boy, I said, why was it we didn't have the goddamn brains to get Boris Karlov? He was here in a, in a play when I was doing this. He was doing, he was being Captain Hook on stage here on the, what's the name of that silly? Peter Pan. Peter Pan, yeah. And uh, another a, a friend of mine was saying, you know, he's, he goes, to, he goes right, lives around the corner here, you know? <laughs> I never saw him on the street. He says he goes into that bank over there. But, what, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe um, I, I thought, you know, he would think there was a big imposition to do this. But uh, I always tell the story that we had a girl come down from Columbia to help us with the mail. And uh, she said later, uh, years later, she met him at a, some kind of a, a affair, and she introduced herself, and she said, I used to work on the Zachary show, and the, showing your old movies. And she said, I hope you didn't mind what we did. And he said, not at all, my dear. You brought me back to life. <laughs> but but uh, we should have we should have reached out to some of these guys. It's been it's been amazing. I I I was in uh, when I first came here. Uh, every uh, of the three networks, I say every. There's only three networks. They each had a house orchestra. NBC had a symphony orchestra, right? It was NBC or CBS. Uh, Toscanini, and it was, it was I think it was. I forget, for a radio that carried over. But they actually had a house orchestra with maybe 30 guys on, this, on the payroll. And it was a union thing, they had to have it. And so I'm there with the, an, an ABC and there was a long corridor and uh, little rooms, dressing rooms. And there's uh, all these shows, there's Patty Page show, the Pat Boone show, the, I don't know, the Voice of Firestone, all this stuff going on every night. Uh, and so I'm getting all these people, and Pat Boone was a big fan. I wish I'd known, really, how much fun he would have, and I would have joined in. <laughs> I didn't know he was riding around in a fancy car, having a great time up at Columbia University. <laughs> and uh, anyway, he was a big fan. He had me on his show a couple of times. Um, but, and, and the, uh, I met opera stars who would come in. I don't know what night of the week they were, but they would come in. Even they were excited. They walked past my, my, I was in there working, and they walked past my little room, and they'd see all this stuff. Oh, Zachary, oh, Van der Vertoff. You know, tell them that. <laughs> this one guy, an Italian opera singer, I can't remember his name, Cesare Sieppi. And he says, uh, I said, gee, could you, you, oh boy, I told a, a girl down in Philadelphia, I said, this guy, she says, Cesare Sieppi, oh my God, she went crazy. And I, so I said to him, hey, would you mind talking on the phone to my girlfriend down in Philadelphia? She's working in a record store. So I, I dialed her up and I said, Maria, here's this, this Cesare Sieppi. And he says, hello, Miss Mario. I understand you sell my records like crazy. <laughs> she couldn't answer. <laughs> but if, this guy was a big fan, and he, he just loved it. He stopped by every time he was on the air there. And uh, it, was a, it was a terrific experience for me to I hear him in show business. The other guy is Barney Martin. Does anybody here know Barney Martin, who recently played Seinfeld's fa father? <laughs> he was warming up the audience for the Dick Clark show, oh, excuse me, Pat Boone show, doing <laughs> gags with another guy. And Barney was a cop. I didn't really, didn't really know that. Uh, I, I remembered it after I met him not long. I think he came to the convention about two years ago. Uh, he greeted me like an old lost brother. <laughs> we never hung out, but we used to kid around. I'd go in and watch these shows, and I was overwhelmed by this. Uh, I was used to having a, a cameraman and a sound effect man, you know, and that's it. But you go into a, a network show, and there's too many people around, all supposedly being paid to do something. Uh, it was a big experience, a big learning experience.